One of the commonest problems we see at the Every Woman Clinic amongst young women is that of polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS as it is called. This is seen in almost one out of three young girls today. It manifests sometimes as excessive weight gain, as acne, excessive facial hair or hirsutism and irregular periods. Sometimes women are thin but they present with problems such as infertility and again irregular periods. The problem behind polycystic ovarian syndrome is that the girl doesn't ovulate regularly. Every month the egg doesn't come out. Along with that, there is a lot more male hormone than should be there. If the girl is looking mainly for cosmetic benefits, such as improvement of acne, reduction of facial hair, weight loss, then we put these girls on a strict diet and exercise regime. We start them on hormonal tablets, which help to regularize the periods perfectly, which reduce the acne and reduce the facial hair over a period of three months or so. They continue with this hormonal therapy for nine months to a year, and you can see significant improvement in reduction of facial hair and acne. However, if the woman is interested in having a child, then we cannot give these hormonal pills and then the treatment often involves weight loss as well as insulin sensitizing agents along with ovulation induction agents because these women are not ovulating. When we give them medicines to produce the egg, we monitor the cycles, a lot of these women become pregnant. However, serious cases or extreme cases may require intrauterine insemination or even IVF or test tube baby to be done to them. In certain cases, a laparoscopic drilling of the follicles, that is drilling of the PCOS helps because in this, a laparoscope is put inside the abdomen and with a tiny needle, the small cysts that are inside the ovary are punctured or they are burnt. By this, immediately the hormone levels fall and the patient starts to ovulate spontaneously. So we can reduce medication considerably by doing a laparoscopic treatment. Individual choices are made and depending on the requirements of the patient, ideal treatment is charted out.